yeah, it, it, it makes me sad. As musicians Jesse Waldman and Noah Walker stroll down Commercial Drive, they can't help but be taken back to their glory days. This was it. You'd walk in, the sound booth would be right there, there'd be booths all around, the stage was over there. And I've seen some outlandish stuff on this stage. Waldman looking at what once was Café du Soleil, an arts hub that closed last fall after 30 years. But for him, it goes beyond the music. He met his life partner there and formed countless relationships. It's like an extension of your living room. It was that kind of venue, and there's not many venues like that. The now defunct cafe is one of many venues and art spaces that have closed down in Vancouver. After Waldman shared his grief for these places on social media, a friend was inspired to create an online map of them. It became the groundwork for a walking tour with the PUSH International Performing Arts Festival. We invite people from all over the world to come here, but I just I can't imagine what they are going to do after the sun goes down because not everybody wants to go to a dance club on Granville. The nightclub scene has also drastically changed over the years, with numerous venues being replaced by condo buildings. This used to be home to Richards on Richards, which a lot of people say was Vancouver's wildest, craziest, most famous nightclub to a certain generation in the 1980s. Um, it really sort of, when Richards on Richards opened, it really, nothing, the city hadn't really seen anything like that before. Chapman says the loss isn't just about the venues, but the impact on culture and community. These places are where we as Vancouverites met. And so when they disappear, the DNA of the city changes a little bit. Walker is concerned that the lack of venues will deter people from the craft. It's just not worth it to spend all day workshopping songs and rehearsing your material but there's nowhere to play that's gonna pay you anything. For now, they play on, even if there's no space to perform. Yasmin Gandim, CBC News, Vancouver.